Yo, what's good everyone? I just wanted to make this really quick video talking about this new game that's kind of getting some attention right now on social media. Uh, and I, I saw it because a bunch of people was retweeting it. I want to say like maybe like, <laughs> like like a bunch of people, right? Was retweeting this for different reasons, right? And I had to make a video about it because I just thought it was really funny. <laughs> and uh, so basically the game is called Pow World, right? It's another one of those monster catching games, you know, similar to like Pokemon. Uh, where you kind of raise and collect mysterious creatures called pals. Uh, it's being touted as like a next generation open world survival crafting game. <laughs> and like that just the first thing I thought of immediately right when I just read that was that it sounds like an early access Steam game. <laughs> where like that seems to be like the, the thing that they all want to do right. Uh, and you know as this video is playing I'm just going to be playing the trailer um, that they released. Uh, and the game does, it, it's gonna be on Steam. And basically this, I think the main reason why this game is getting the attention that it's been getting is because it's a situation where people are saying, look, this is another game that's going to rival Pokemon or is going to, you know, show that the Pokemon company doesn't know what they're doing and, you know, everything like that, right? Uh, and I will say like the game doesn't look bad. Um, I'm not sure how to feel about it, honestly, because I feel like like maybe the game won't have everything that it's saying it does. But I'm also completely like, you know, unfamiliar with like these developers. So for that reason, I decided, all right, let me go and take a look at their Steam page, see if there's anything I can figure out. And from what I can tell just by looking at the trailer, like it's pretty much like Pokemon with guns <laughs> and slave labor. <laughs> And it's very odd, right? So like they have like survival mechanics where you could like shoot an animal in the face <laughs> and like uh, could, like eat them. There'll be stuff like food shortages in harsh weather and like stuff like that. Um, you'll be able to fly, swim, you know, you know, kind of like just like have an open world game with like these kind of these pal creatures, right? Um, but I think <laughs> I think there's like s certain things that just sounds hilarious coming from this game right like there's a section on the steam store page where, where it says building do you want to build a pyramid you can have a large number of pals work on the construction don't worry labor laws don't won't be applied to pals <laughs> like, 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 like whoa what, what, what are you talking what <laughs> like all right i was i was kind of behind the whole you know, Pokemon with like a big open world kind of thing. And then, all right, <laughs> like that was oddly mentioned. Um, but then, you know, to go into like, you, you know, using pals to like go through things, farming. So uh, there's also like factory work. <laughs> um, and then <laughs> that's another, it's just like the other, the, the part we just talked about where it's like, it sounds kind of fucked <laughs> in like how it's like being said and advertised in the in the in the store page because it says it is essential for uh, automation to let pals do the manual work build a factory and place pals in it they will work forever as long as they're fed up to the end of their lifetime <laughs> this is like <laughs> this is like 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 child labor <laughs> like almost like this like something about this ain't right <laughs> like they they even have like this gif of like the of, the, of these cute little creatures like building these m16s <laughs> like this shit looks wild <laughs> for like i don't even like for like the wrong reasons <laughs> And then, all right, and then they have a whole other section. Poaching and crime. Endangered species pals live in the hunting prohibited area. If you sneak in and catch them, you'll get tons of money. It's only illegal if you get caught. <laughs> it's like, uh, okay, so is there going to be like a like a wanted system in this game? Like, is it, is it going to be like GTA? Where like, if you get caught stealing penguins, like, what are you going <laughs> to... Are you going to like see like officer jenny or like their equivalent of officer jenny like running up on you and trying to arrest you like will they shoot at you is that how that works or is it like do you just like escape like i i'm so curious as to how that works and then that, that's pretty much it from what you can gather of the game so once so basically like once you know i looked into the game and everything 
I decided to look. All right, let's look at the um, the the you know the developer, the publisher, uh, Pocket Pair Inc. And for, and it's weird because like it mentions a game called like Craftopia, right? Like Craftopia is another one of their games that uh, they've also worked on. But it's weird how it's like done. Like I don't know why, but for some reason when you click on the Pocket Pair um, page or Power World, I'm sorry. Uh, you look at the Power World page, and the, this Pocket Pair Inc. listed. But then when you click on it, it doesn't mention anything else. And in the same vein, like, if you go to the Craftopia, which is their previous game, uh, it doesn't... Like, it has Pocket Pair Inc. in it, but it's, like, I don't know, like, spelled differently. Like, it's like a, like a space or something. So it's, like, it, it treats it like it's a separate development studio, but it's the same studio. And, you know, with Craftopia, it doesn't seem like these guys are essentially, you know, scamming people or anything like that. Because the recent reviews, there's like like 399 reviews at the time of this recording, about very positive 80%, right? Uh, all reviews lands at like an 83% on Steam. So, like, clearly these are talented developers for the most part. Like, they have made a game that people have enjoyed in some way. So, I don't think... You know, Pow World is gonna be like some kind of like bad game. It's probably gonna be a pretty decent game. Um, it's just really weird. <laughs> it's just a really weird game. But I think uh, ever since you know Temtem was a thing back in the day, like people have really wanted there to be like some kind of like Pokemon killer, you know, game. Uh, and part of me kind of believes that you know this game might get a certain amount of attention for you know challenging the Pokemon company and Pokemon as a whole, but I also kind of doubt that it's going to get, like, you know, enough attention to really, you know, hurt them, you know what I mean? Like, this is, like, it, it feels like this is the new flavor of the month kind of thing, like, people talked about Temtem, said it was going to be the Pokemon killer, and then that game died pretty quickly, from what I understand, uh, and I feel like Power World is going to kind of fall under that same umbrella, where it's going to get the hype because of its similarities to Pokemon, but it's not going to keep and, re like, retain that. I mean, I could be proven wrong. And if that's the case, uh, I'd be kind of interested to see, like, how the game progresses. But I have a hard time seeing this game really, you know, staying in the public eye. But let me know what you guys think. Have you checked out the game in any way? Are you interested in checking out the game in any way? Um, but until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Shifty. Yeah. Shifty, wanna be yeah. the number one gamer, yeah. come and get me yeah. It'd be dope yeah. if you subscribe, could you yeah. like the vid please yeah. Take yeah. your time, you don't gotta do it swiftly uh -uh. Shifty, yeah. uh -huh. Shifty, wanna yeah. be yeah. the number one gamer, come and get me